Homework 12 is working with inequalities, those greater thans and less thans and greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. When we solve an inequality, we solve it just like we solve an equation, except if we end up multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So these first ones, we're just going to do adding and subtracting. So our inequality sign is going to stay the same because we're not doing any multiplying or dividing, so we don't have to worry about that rule. So we just solve it exactly like we solve our normal equation. If I want to solve this for z, I need to move the 2 to the other side. I'm going to minus the 2, so 18 is less than z. When you enter it in, you either need to just leave it in that order, which is what I would suggest, or if you turned it around, so it makes sense to you, if 18 is less than z, you have to flip the whole thing around, then z is greater than 18. I personally would just leave it alone so that I don't mess up on anything when I changed it, but if you want this variable to be first, you flip the whole thing. So on number two, if I'm solving for t, what would I do? Add the 5. 17 plus 5 would give me 22 is greater than t. And you have to enter that whole inequality in there. It's not just 22. It's 22 is greater than t. And I moved mine around because I wanted to make the font a little bigger so my pages aren't going to line up with yours, but it'll be the same questions. Number three, solving that for z, we would add three, and so z is greater than or equal to 28, right? 